Hi everybody, I'm Dragomir Mursik. I'm the main character in Alex and I'm also uh, the creator to the story. And next to me is my good friend. Hi, I'm Alain and uh, I'm the director of Alex. It's about a cop who does some fishy stuff on the side just to get some extra cash because cops don't earn that much money in Sweden. Uh, one night uh, he's with his partner and accidentally he shoots his partner dead. And that's like the turning point. Uh, uh, Alex feels like, okay, I gotta get out of this. I can't be in the system. Alex, I know that you die or something. Can you talk to me? The story comes from a little bit from my life I had before. I was a little bit on the other side, on the law. I had some, uh, yeah, 30 years ago, I did some bank robberies. So, and uh, I had similar cops was after me. We always portrayed in Sweden a little bit uh, different, like uh, Valander and older cops. And so I want to portray something that we have in Sweden that we haven't portrayed before. And uh, so the idea comes from my own experience. As a director, I'm interested in real life and real persons. I'm like a sponge. I just like take everything and put it out there. And Dragomir is like, he's like, um, uh, I just take everything from Dragomir's life because he has stories about everything. Are you like a snoot or an intern? I don't know if they were degraded to a plate or something. Certainly. Ja, och dina äckliga pengar. Det är slut. I came out from prison 99. I went in by myself to serve, because I was on the run like three times from 92. I escaped from the court and uh, other stuff. So uh, in 96 I decided to do, to take, do my time. So I called them, okay, I'm gonna come in. And I came out uh, 99 and I decided to, okay, now I'm gonna straighten up my life. Otherwise I'm gonna die or I'm gonna be in the prison system. And I don't want that. And my girlfriend was pregnant. So I, you know, for my family, I wanna do good. How do I say You are clear, man, huh? You are not over to me. You commit more problems to me. And you give me more money. För nästa gång jag ser dig, så jag tänker jag inte på mig mer. När det. Loads of the scenes are uh, directly from my life. Uh, some when the guy stabs in the bag, in the bag, you know, t -t 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 when they clock him, you know, 36 times. When I was in prison, I was training, and the guy came in to me. Oh, what are you doing like that, drug me? You should do it like this. Look. T -t -t -t. Colorado. It's like uh, first time uh, they allowed uh, in Sweden TV or f uh, film to shoot inside the gates of a high security prison. It's forbidden to shoot outside even yeah. the wall, you know, in Sweden. So it's, this is the first time they allowed uh, us, uh, us. And we, when we were inside there, the guys were really cool, the two, you know, security guys. I was talking with them. Then the head of the prison came. Yeah, he knew you. And he said, and he said, okay, now everybody can go. I want to talk with Dragomir. And he was a former cop for 25 years in Stockholm. Oh, so I know you and I know your friends. So we had similar friends. And uh, so, and we, we want to shoot some other place inside. And he said, uh, but I don't like when people ask permission after they get the permission. But okay, I can let you shoot here because Dragomir is here. So, you know, it's... But it's, it's pretty cool because... Uh, 20 years ago, Dragomir went out of the prison, or he sat in that prison. Now, 20 years later, he comes back with his own yeah. TV show yeah. <laughs> and can walk in and out. Yeah, how, how, how I want. It was, it was a yeah. big moment. Yeah, it, it was, was a really super big moment. Big moment.